Hi everyone. Um, excuse the state of me. I have literally just woke up and come downstairs. Um, I wanted to do like a daily tattoo healing for my latest tattoo. Um, I find these interesting and also I think it's just useful for people who have not had a tattoo and are going to have their first tattoo. Um, it's useful for them to uh, see what the healing process is like. Or at least I think it would think it is. I know um, before I had my first tattoo, I certainly watched videos to see what the healing process was like. So, yeah, thought I'd do that. Sorry, I've got some in my eye. That's better. Okay, so I've got just got my like vesty top on. Um, my latest tattoo is this one, and it's my owl. It's going to look a bit twisted because of the position I've got my arm in. And his name is Oliver. I call him Ollie. I know I've named it. Oh, don't ask me why. I just did. Um, so yeah, first day. Um, I had it done yesterday. Yesterday afternoon. And first of all, when I got home, it was a bit red. Um, a little bit tender, but not not too bad. Um, to be honest, this was one of the least painful tattoos I've had done. Um, out of ten, I'd score it about a two. But obviously, everyone's different. Um, so for, for someone else, I mean, I've got you know bigger arms. So I mean, if you're little, um, then and you've got less skin, you might find that it hurts a bit more. Um, but yeah, today one. Um, I had to leave it wrapped up in cling film when they first did it for a few hours. Um, it, sa it says more than more than two, but no, no more than four. So after the four hours, I unwrapped it, gave it a wash with plain soap. I'm using simple soap, which has no um, fragrance or anything to it. It is literally just soap. Um, and I'm using like the shower gel version so it's like a liquid soap because I find that easier I don't like bars of soap because I think they just sit there gathering germs um, I prefer liquid soap plus it's easier to rub on a tattoo um, and then last night I had to sorry <coughs> I told you I've only just got out of bed so I'm a bit croaky Yes, that was a pint mug of tea. Yum. Um, so yeah, last night I had to wrap it back up in cling film. Um, just wrap cling film around my arm and then put a bit of um, micropore tape on. Just to hold it in place. And I have just gave it another wash. So it's just been washed with some plain soap and water. And it looks like that so far. Um, feels fine. The only thing is I've hurt my arm, my, like the, my shoulder, because for like an hour and 45 minutes I was in this position while he tattooed me. Cause that's, how he, that's how he did it with me sitting up. So I've actually pulled the muscle in my shoulder. So I'm like, oh. you know, when you have like um an injection in your shoulder and your arm, that the shoulder really aches when you move it. It's like that sort of feeling. Um, but apart from that, it feels fine. The skin just feels a bit um, tighter than normal. I don't think I'm particularly swollen. I think I am a little bit, but not loads. Um, my legs swelled up, swell, swelled up, swelled up. Blah, blah, blah. My legs swelled up quite a lot when I had the um, rose tattoo. Um, but this one doesn't seem too bad. If I compare it to my other arm, it's a little bit swollen, but nothing major. Um, so yeah, that's what it's like first day one. And he's looking all right. Um, this is day two stroke day three of my tattoo healing. Um, excuse the hair, I've only just got out of bed again. Um, I forgot to film yesterday because I was too tired. I actually fell asleep. Um, but yesterday, 
my arm felt fine um if someone touched it it was uncomfortable um but it was all right you know i, I could move my arm a lot better I could, it still felt like i'd bruised um the muscle at the top of my arm my shoulder feels a lot better from where i pulled it because of the position i was in having it tattooed <coughs> Um, just yesterday it was red, quite, not quite red, but um, it was red round all the way around the edges of the tattoo um, and it was just starting to sort of dry up a bit, if you know what I mean, because it goes, it goes sort of like scabby and then you get to the peely stage. Um, so that was yesterday, so nothing major. It had stopped um, aching, but the night the night before it was my elbow was aching like mad um and my arm it just felt like I'd really like bruised the muscle in my arm um today is day three and it feels fine um it's just starting to scab over so I can if I fit if I rub my hand over it when I'm putting the cream on um I can feel the odd little rough patch which is just where it's scabbing over um no peeling yet but that'll come um the skin is still a bit it's still a bit bruised but nothing nothing major and it looks like this so it's looking really good um i'm still putting cream on and washing it if you look there's just like a sort of it's a bit bit red compared to the rest of my skin um, but nothing major it's not aching or anything and um, doesn't hurt I mean if if someone was to like whack it it would hurt but it doesn't feel like yesterday it was a bit sensitive when I put the cream on where's today I just put the cream on and it was all right um, I can still feel a bit near the bottom where the tail is, that still feels um, bruised um, and it is it is still a bit swollen but not, not a load, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's day three. All I'm doing now, I don't have to, now it's day three, I don't have to wrap it up overnight in cling film like I have done the past couple of nights. Um, all I have to do now is wash it twice a day and put um, some cocoa butter on twice a day and then during the middle of the day if it feels a bit dry or feels like the skin's a bit tight I put a bit more cocoa butter on so I tend to do it about three times a day the cocoa butter um, but I don't put a lot on because you don't want to put too much on either because that's that can make the scabs bigger apparently don't know why um, <coughs> So yeah, that's day three so far. The redness is going down, it's not aching, still feels a bit bruised and it's just starting to scab over. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, over the last about two or three days, it's my tattoo's just been peeling a lot. Um, you can see it's still a little bit flaky and peely in some spots. Um, on the, I forgot to record the last few days, so I'll just tell you what's been going on with it. On the third and fourth day, it was very, 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 very flaky, uh, peeling all over. Um, I've now had this tattoo for a week, and it's still peeling. Um, not by a lot though, uh, a lot of the peeling has already fallen off, um, you just have to remember at this stage not to pick it or anything, so all I've done is carried on washing it twice a day and carried on applying cocoa butter twice a day. I haven't applied any yet this afternoon because I wanted to show you how it looks when it is peeling, um, but I'm going to put some cream on in a minute. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, uh, doesn't look like I've lost any colour, not that I can tell yet anyway, 
Yeah, I think I'm all right. Um, so yeah, hopefully it won't need a touch up once it's all finished healing. But I'll see. There's still some little scabby bits and things. If if you look in the in the black shadows, there's a lot of little white lines. That's where it's obviously starting to peel and crack. So I'll see what's left once that's gone. Um, but yeah, so it's now a week old. Uh, it doesn't hurt to touch it or anything, doesn't hurt to sleep on it. Um, all swelling and redness is gone. Um, it is literally just a bit dry and a bit flaky now. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.